Hey, and welcome back to Grandpa Casey. I hope everyone's having a great day. This is, and your grandpa's glad to see you back. Listen, we're going to talk to you about an important situation that's happening with Windows 11 right now that you may be aware of, but you need to know about right now because this could cause your PC to brick. And you know it, all that important information and pictures, you don't want that to happen. And what's happening is, very soon, Windows 11 is about to release version 24H2 update. And sometime in March, the Millennium Update. Now, many of you have heard that, or may or should have heard by now, that 24H2 will not support older PCs. In fact, it will prevent the PC from booting. Well, what else does it do? Well, of course, the 24H2 improve, is going to improve the PC's ability to do AI graphics and AI, all kinds of AI information, but that's not important to this right now. I'm going to tell you about a client of mine who came in uh, a couple months ago. They had a Windows 11 PC, not an old one, uh, but the machine only came with 250 gigabytes of drive, and he had a laptop with the same thing with only a small hard drive in it. And he wanted me to upgrade them to f two terabytes of drive. No problem. I cloned the drives, took them out, and the new and the PCs came right back up. Windows 11, no problem. And then he asked me a question. He says, "What can we do with the old drives?" And Joe, and you should check out my video on how to take old drives and use them for external drives. And I said, "Well, that's fine. We can." I said, can we take the old drive and put it in my Windows 10 machine? And maybe we, we can get bypass Windows uh, uh, processing that it can allow me to run Windows 11 on them. I said, well, we can only try. So we took the drives, popped them in the old PCs, and guess what? The desktop came up, the, the uh, laptop came up, and these were not very old PCs. There was an i7-7000 series. There were two different manufacturers. They both worked great. He's happy. He's took them home, and he's happy as a, a dog. Anyway, no problem. But about three weeks later, he says to me, you know, I want to run some more graphics on my PC. Can I upgrade the RAM on them? I said, well, what do you want to do? He says, well, I have four gigabytes of RAM. Let's upgrade it to eight. No big deal, right? So we upgrade the desktop to 8 gigabytes of RAM. Guess what happens? You're not going to believe what happened. Machine starts to boot up. You expect it to work perfectly. Instead, it says no operating system. And not only that, it says booting. To, it must boot to floppy. Boot to floppy. We could find no way around it. We couldn't reinstall Windows. We had to remove the, the his, his hard drive and put back the old Windows 10 uh, hard drive and the machine came back up again not only that but the wind the hard drive we couldn't access it I had to use a special program to wipe it clean but and uh, get it back up again and reformat and repetition it and he was able to use it for an external drive he couldn't even we couldn't even install we couldn't even use it to clone and he says to me well I guess that's really weird I said okay I don't know what caused that well, he, t he brings his laptop and he says, could we upgrade the RAM on this? No problem. So we upgraded the RAM, turned it on. Guess what? It did exactly the same thing. Came up. Now, remember, these were two different PCs. The hard drives came from two different PCs. Both were winning, running Windows 11. And it stopped, said no operating system, and went, tried to boot to floppy. And that hard drive also was kilo wouldn't work so something was installed in version 23 h2 that is was preparing that microsoft is basically going to kill older pcs running windows 10 if they try to upgrade to windows 11 and you need to be aware of that so if you've upgraded your pc from windows 10 and you upgraded it and got around the system the installer and upgraded it to windows 11 you might be in for a big shock when the new millennial or the new 24h2 is released you're you could install that update and your machine we may boot up and say hey um there is no OS. no s we know already that it's, it's going to kill some pcs that are not running certain type of uh, i think it's pop tent in the in the operating system or in the uh, the chips so if it doesn't have that you know it's already going to kill that but what else will they kill 
So anyway, I wanted to give you an update on this because let me tell you what, that my client was very dis disappointed, but very uh, upset. But I would be very upset too, because you know everything was working fine, and uh, you have to be aware of this because Microsoft does not want you to be installing the older. PCs, Windows 11, for a reason. I don't know what the reason is. Possibly because they already plan to make your PC uh, uh, AI. Who knows? But anyway, this is your Grandpa Casey out. Don't forget to give us a like, share, and subscribe. And if you like this kind of uh, content, consider becoming a channel member. Check out my other videos, tech reviews, tech solutions, and how-tos. And until next time, this is your Grandpa Casey. Godspeed and love.